your first alert forecast with Chief Meteorologist Chad Crilly. A lot more dry time out there today compared to some of the earlier days this week. In fact, most of the showers and thunderstorms on this Wednesday afternoon are west of the I-65 corridor. So from Selma to Jackson, there's some scattered showers and thunderstorms also near Montgomery. There has been some pop up activity, only about a 10 to 20% chance of storms for us this evening. So if you're heading out for dinner, things look pretty good out to the west. More organized activity moving through Mississippi. There is a cold front that stretches from near Little Rock to Dallas. That's a cold front that we're keeping an eye on as we head into the day tomorrow. So thunderstorms are likely with that system throughout Thursday. The good news, severe weather is not anticipated at this time. Still, there could be some strong storms with gusty winds and heavy rain throughout the day. Dry out there right now, just pretty steamy. Look at some of these temperatures. 91 degrees in Dothan. It is 90 in Geneva, 90 in Enterprise, upper 80s for us in Florala. Across the Panhandle, temperatures there also in the upper 80s, close to 90 degrees. We stay toasty over the next couple of hours with temperatures dropping back into the upper 70s by around 9 o'clock. Clouds will build overnight tonight. By tomorrow morning, here we are at 6 a.m. There will be that 20% chance of a couple of showers. Chances really increase after that. So let's go through the timeline to Together. This is tomorrow at 7 a.m. A few light showers around and then as we go through mid morning into the early afternoon, the chance of thunderstorms starts to develop. You can see some of the yellow here with those cells indicating the downpour. So that threat continues at least through mid afternoon. Things will start to wind down as we go into Thursday evening. That's when the cold front itself moves to the wire grass, drier air behind it. That leads us to a dry Friday, Saturday and mostly Sunday. Your tropical update things looking pretty quiet over the next several days as we head into the end of the weekend and early next week. There is a possibility an area of low pressure may form across the North Caribbean Sea or as far west here as the Yucatan Peninsula. We're not sure what happens after that. Although it is unlikely anything major develops in the Gulf next week. Regardless, we will be keeping an eye on the possibility of some more moisture being streamed in our direction. For now, still watching that cold front on our Thursday. Thunderstorms are likely. Then the weekend gets really toasty. 93 degrees on Saturday, 95 for us as we head into Sunday. Sunday is the day the heat index. It feels like temperature could climb into the upper 90s, close to 100 degrees, especially for areas south of us on Monday and Tuesday. Some of that moisture starts to increase, so a few more showers and storms. But if you like the dry weather and you like the heat, this is definitely. Oh, yes. We do indeed. Yeah, the we dry part. Indeed. We like the dry part. We know the heat is coming, but yeah. it so is. is the humidity. Part of summertime around here. Yeah, you know. for exactly. Sure. Yeah. All right. Well.